हेलो अस्सलाम वालेकुम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय न्यू ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ आवर टीआईए पोर्टल सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ पीआईडी कंपैक्ट वर्किंग व्हिच इज अ बिल्ट इन पीआईडी फंक्शन ऑफ आवर टीआईए पोर्टल सो आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ आवर पीआईडी कंपैक्ट व्हिच इज अ बिल्ट इन प्रोग्राम ऑफ आवर टीआईए पोर्टल हाउ इट इज गोइंग टू वर्क वी विल सी माय पीआईडी प्रोग्राम हैज बीन नाउ बीन ओपन आई एम गोइंग जस्ट गोइंग टू डिवाइस कॉन्फिगरेशन and you see i have some analogs out inputs i need to some analog output so i am just going to our analog output and i now i am selecting that one to there like that now i am going to tag that you see io tags I am going to enter that a level. You will see the level, level which is I W zero. So you will see I W zero level as an integer. Now I am going to digital output. I am going to name that. You will see that Q W zero and Q W zero two, Q W two. So first is our fill wall. and second is our discharge wall so i think it is now created now i need to create a block organization block and i need a cyclic interrupt for that so i'm just selecting a cyclic interrupt and okay for pid because pid only work is uh, in cyclic interrupt because some errors shows up uh, mathematical error that was cyclic interrupt uh, uh, remove these error so i am just going to first of all we need going to conversion and going to scale x and nor max we need to check that how which is integer and i am going to convert into real and uh, what is our value and which is level and our minimum is 0 and maximum what is it maximum to 7648 is our maximum now i need a tag which is m b 0 there and uh, i am going to that to that and md0 and i need to set minimum is 0 and maximum is 10 and we need a uh, real output which is i'm going to select md4 md4 now i think our scaling has now been configured from 0 to 10 now i am going to cyclic interrupt and just tag our pid functions technology pid and here is our pid compact now i am just going to like that our pid is now there and i need to set our set point i am just going to md8 set at set point because in in real this function is real i am just going to show that you will see that in the manual descriptions and you will see our input is now real and our scale input which is md4 that one from 0 to 10 now i'm just because i am again show you an output how many outputs you will support that so you will see 
output real if you want a real output output is an integer if you want an integer output and output is a pwm which is bool because uh, open and close bool function i am just going to show you so our output is an per because we have fill valve is an integer so i am just going to show that now i am going to setting it you will see i am just going to select that to the manual input output as a per analog i am going to change it to input and i am going to select a process value which is 0.0 to 10.0 you will know that so and i don't need any other things i don't need something more this time i'm going to do again cyclic and tap and compile that now i'm going to close that and now i'm going to start a simulation now i'm loading my program and start is finished because we have only one fill valve out of so what we are going to our discharge valve so first of all we need to connect that that's it i'm just moving my camera selecting discharge valve and make it open force to 2.0 i think that's it good now i start it and now i'm again going to make it online and now i'm going to set uh, our input level set point is 5.0 to check now i'm starting commission we need a commissioning to check scale is put is 10.10 i'm just now going to close that and we need to start a tuning we also need that one change to 10 and let's start a tuning mode and we are now going to check it is work or not so you will see to check that you will see our fill valve is fully open and now our tank is working i think i need to change that to 3.0 to check that thing faster so you will see our fill valve is now closed and now if our level goes down it will automatically open our fill valve so let's see that in the commission you will see that how it will reopen our fill valve i think the cyclic meter you will see that it will maintain our level so that is our pid contact compact and how it i we will use that in our temperature setting or whatever we need to check in our pc in our op uh, process so if you want uh, you have a single output like uh, a single relay output which is uh, increase uh, burner a temperature increase and decrease so we need only single output of fill valve and discharge valve it will also work on our uh, if we have a uh, 
if we have a uh, process we have a, uh, a valve which is uh, analog valve analog output valve which is uh, open and closed by analog rd so we will use that pid compact so that's it i think thank you very much for watching my video please subscribe my channel like my video and click the bell icons and don't forget to in the descriptions i give links of windows soft scada ignition scada as well and factory io tutorials as well so if you want to learn watch my videos so thank you very much again for watch my video